Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Matt, here, and welcome to a brand new Matt movie here on the Matt Movies channel. And for those of you out there, Merry Christmas! Today is, of course, the 25th, and it is, of course, Christmas Day. And on Christmas, I got Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. I have been waiting for this game forever, and now I have it, which is incredible. And I have not completed the story, um, so I just decided to take a little bit of time off for the story and do the thing I was most excited about for the game, and that's customize characters. I don't have all the characters yet, so I'm saving like some of the characters I want to create for later when I get more characters. But I just fiddled around with it and created some really cool characters, as you can see right here. And I think that they actually turned out really good, so I'm going to show you guys their powers right here today. So first up, I've created this guy, which I called Metal Man. He's basically, um, well, I use Tactical tactical Force's helmet. It's basically like, if you want, you could consider it kind of like a green Iron Man or something. So that's really cool. I used a whole bunch of really cool green um, pieces. Um, a whole bunch of really cool green pieces to make it look really cool. I gave him default speed. Um, and again, like I said, I haven't completed the story, that's why there are these ghost studs. But I gave him bolts, which is very cool, green bolts. And, um, and I also gave him a beam, which I believe we can melt. Yes, we can. Nice. I forgot what damage type I put onto the beam, but yeah, he does shoot a beam, so that's really cool. Um, and I did also give him a lunge, so he can lunge toward his enemies. And I did give him a force field, so that's really cool. And I also gave him on hold, a uh, charge, and, uh, a super jump, and then flight, so very cool. Love it. So, that's Metal Man, and what's really cool is that for each character in the game, you, they have like a character profile where you can like see who they are, what their power, and what their first appearance is, and the really cool thing is that in the game, they did that too, like you can actually see a character profile for your character, and what's really cool is that, um, is that like depending on like what pieces you choose for your character it actually get, makes um like a backstory for them so here are all the core abilities i chose for uh metal man which is really cool so i gave him like techno access um uh, techno access and yeah so a lot of really cool characters and it says for the character profile as part of the security team tasked with guarding the facility where bruce banner's gamma bomb was tested this unlucky look unlucky lookout was caught in the outs outskirts of the blast radius and gained a series of superpowers as a result now filled with new purpose this forever will meaning meaning warning goes down the name metal man and the reason it says like gamma is because is because like i used hulkling's um armor so yeah next up i have this guy which is iron robot he's basically like a drone, I guess you could say like it's made by Tony Stark, and I and I gave him like some golden arms, some Iron Man pieces, uh, a chest piece, an Iron Man's uh, helmet, so very cool. Gave him some red hearts, and I gave him fast speed, and I also I also gave him bolts as well, um, yellow ones, and a beam as well, which is really cool. So I gave him, uh, I believe it's like, a, and I it's like a heat beam, so yeah. And I also gave him quick teleport, which is really cool. Uh, flights, as you can see. And I believe I did give him a... Oh, no, I didn't give him a hyper jump. I forgot. Yeah, but yeah. And I, um, hold up. Did I give him a targeted lunge? Yeah, I did. I also gave him this. So, very cool. And he looks really cool. I really like the design I gave for him. He looks really cool. And, of course, just like always, he has a character profile, Iron Robot, right there, as you can see. Let's flip it. And there are all of his core abilities, which is really cool. And I have not seen this one, which is, shortly after gu Guardiation, this rookie, rookie reporter began an exciting career rear at the Daily Bugle, quickly becoming the J. Jonah James, the new, uh, porch or something, uh, uh However, while reporting deep undercover, a change... Uh, a chance under, uh, a chance, yeah, a chance encounter with a strange piece of aim technology resulted in 
uh, in the Jinx Journal is becoming uh, immune immune with superpowers to become the iron robot. So this is really cool. So I guess in, so I guess in the game they made him like a rookie reporter. So that's really cool. And then last but most certainly least, Lord Magic. So this guy is my first custom and he's really cool. He's basically I used a lot of really cool pieces like gold and stuff like that. And he's basically, as you can see from the name, his name is Lord Magic. So he has some magical powers. Like I gave him bolts as well. I also gave him a beam, which is really cool. Um, and I also gave him an explosion attack, which is very cool. So if you want to see that again. And then tab, I also gave him a teleport. And then we can take out this defensive snowman. Nice. And we can destroy some objects. And I also gave him flight as well. And I believe I did give... Yeah, I gave him a hyper jump as well. So, I really like the design of this character. And, of course, here's his character profile. Looking very, very cool. Here's all, And now we can see together uh, this... Um, uh, the character profile. So, uh, shortly after graduation, this rookie reporter began an exciting career at the Daily Bugle, quickly becoming, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's kind of like the same idea, it's pretty much the same exact thing, but this time it just has Lord Magic at the end, so, oh, that's cool, and it says, um, and it says, right there, uh, first appearance, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, that's really cool, uh, and, um, yeah, so, with that in mind, guys, uh, that is it. That wraps up this quick little video. Here are all three of my, here are all three of my characters once again, looking quite snazzy. And I gotta say, I am imp very, very impressed with this Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 customizer. It is the best customizer to date so far. I mean... Arthur Parsons has mentioned, who is of course the head of Design and Tiki Games, he mentioned that what the customizer in Lego Marvel 2 is only is only scratching the surface. So that means they've got other things up their sleeves to make for the customizer. So looking forward to it. But yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video showing you guys my really cool characters and to wish you guys a Merry Christmas with all of your loved ones. So so um Yeah. There's King the Conqueror talking. But yeah, so there's Kang talking as well. Yeah, Kang Bar. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. It would be appreciated. And let me know in the comments below what cool customs you guys have come up with for LEGO Marvel 2. Because I would love to hear it. So with that in mind, peace out and I'll see you later.